Hey everybody, uh, today I wanted to talk to you about a story that I've been following for a um, for about a week now or a few days, however, however long it's been since it came out. And interestingly enough, when the story came out, it was about a death of a uh, CEO. Uh, his name was Gerald Cotton. Uh, he ended up dying and he lost $150 million worth of crypto for that company. So right when I heard this company, this the story, I all of a sudden had doubts in my mind. I mean, you know, when someone dies, you don't. So I, I, I kind of brushed him off, but I, I was like, that's weird. Why is somebody who owns millions of dollars, over a hundred million dollars worth of crypto, why does he? Why is he the only one that has the keys? Like, why didn't he set up? I I, I remember when I got like ten, twenty. Th when I started getting money in crypto. I started freaking out and I was buying all these, you know, all these, uh, you know, hardware wallets and doing all these laminations of paper wallet, like doing all these weird things because I was, you know, I, I don't, I wanted to protect myself. And I would assume that, you know, now I guess maybe in the world of people that are, you know, multi, multi millionaires and deal with that every day, maybe they, they handle money differently, but I, I don't know. It just kind of threw a little flag up for me when I heard it, but I just kind of brushed it off. Now, that being said, uh, there's been some people on the internet <clears throat> who have been thinking the same thing. And I recently read this story, which I'm going to share with you, and um, and it's pretty interesting. So, <clears throat> essentially, what this writer is, um, he's not saying it, it happened, but it, but there's just a lot of red flags. So, <clears throat> um, and there's actually a Reddit user, we'll go to that in a second, that, that shared some interesting things that I didn't know that I was like, what? Anyways, um, at any rate, uh, this writer was essentially says, like, uh, the CEO died in an area that is really well known. In fact, the the the, the town that he was in is really well known, or city. I don't know if it's city or town, but it was really well known for faking, um, getting fake death certificates and birth certificates, um, that sort of stuff. And it was just really strange that he died there. And <clears throat> um, there's been many people in that area and um, that have done this you know scam before and this writer kind of talks about that but what I found interesting was this reddit user uh, ended up so um, these are a bunch of, now not saying that this actually took place or anything uh, I'm just saying there's lots of red flags here so first of all uh, apparently he was having financial troubles and he went to an orphanage little flag you know not not too much I actually know people that are in financial struggles and do charity work all the time. That being said, he did go to a um, he did go to a another country by himself, which, which is weird, but at any rate, um, and then he also had Crohn's disease. So there's a couple red flags right there. So first of all, you, you know if you if you're like suffering from a disease, why would you go somewhere by yourself? And secondly, like if you were if you had a disease like that, you I would assume that he was smart enough to have put something in place in case the worst case scenario happened. And maybe he was doing really well, but still, you know, I don't know. That's really strange. So he's, you know, having financial issues. Then he goes to a country that's known for you know, faking deaths, while he had a disease, went by himself, like, okay, that's weird. Um, and then uh, he got married and set up a will within months of his death for his dogs, which is a little weird. Um, and uh, he doesn't think to make sure that nearly 200 million his exchange watches are also taken care of. So it's just kind of really strange. Now Jesse Powell, uh, he's the CEO of Craig and he said, you know, we have thousands of wallets and addresses known to belong to that exchange uh, or to that company that, um, that, you know, Cotton belongs to, that Cotton was a CEO of and they're investigating those wallets um, and he called it bizarre and frankly unbelievable story that the founder's death and lost all the keys so 
there's just multiple people. In fact, this article um, talks about some people that are trying to find those wallets that aren't on those exchanges and hunt them all down. Uh, one person claims that there's been some you know, funds that have been withdrawn that, that belong to him after his death, and some other people are saying, no, you know, they don't have those wallets. But at any rate, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll post links to this below, and you can research this. But I, I'm going to be following this story for a while, I mean, until <laughs> something gets concluded. There's obviously going to be investigation. Um, a apparently, that the, there is no body found. There is no, or there's no uh, report. There is no... Um, they're not flying the body back or, you know, they're, they're having issues with that currently. And, um, and I, it'd be curious to actually know how the initial news got broadcasted to like, was someone looking for him? Did they send a, you know, a letter to the United States saying, Hey, someone died and this is who it is. Or uh, I don't know, very strange stuff. And I'm going to be following it. So, uh, if you want to know more about this story and how it progresses, like subscribe, put the bell notification on. I'll, I will, uh, I'll be talking about it more. Super appreciate everybody who has subscribed and, you know, liked, commented. I'm, I'm, um, um, at any rate, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's it. Appreciate everybody listening, and I will see you at the next video. Take care. Bye.